بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آل ول بی ان دا بیسٹ آف یور ہیلتھ ٹوڈے وی آر ہیئر فار آر لیکچر نمبر فائیو آف بزنس پروسیس انجینئرنگ اینڈ ان ٹوڈیز سیشن وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ پروسیسز فرسٹ وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ دا کور ایلیمنٹس آف مینوفیکچرنگ پروسیس لیٹس ہیو اے کوئک ری کیپ آف آر پریویس لیکچر In our previous lecture, we completed our first module that is business process management. We studied about performance management system. We explored key performance indicators and its distinguishing features. We studied about how key performance indicator differ from an operational metric. We also explored characteristics of an effective performance measurement system. We highlighted balance scorecard, also explored four perspectives in balance scorecard. We discussed Six Sigma and its methods. And then we had a comparison between Six Sigma and balance scorecard. Now, that was all about our previous lecture. In today's lecture, we will start another very important module of business process engineering and that is manufacturing process. First, we will go to the introduction of manufacturing process. What do we mean by a manufacturing process so that we can distinguish a manufacturing process from other processes. Then we will deep dive into types of manufacturing process. After that, we will cover principal factors affecting the manufacturing process. Then key success factors will also be highlighted. So let's start. Manufacturing processes. A sequence of operations often done on a machine are at a given area. For example, welding. casting, assembling, and cutting, etc. During a manufacturing process, we add, subtract, or form materials in order to give a desired property or shape to the workpiece. The cycle of manufacturing processes convert material into parts and products. starts immediately after the raw materials are either extracted from the minerals or produced from chemicals or natural substances different manufacturing processes manufacturability of a material processing tools environmental aspects have become important issues for manufacturing processes so let's first talk about different manufacturing processes the processes used to convert raw material into finished products perform one or both of two major functions first is material modifying process and second is joining process material modifying process either change the properties of a material or shape of a material so material modifying process is further divided into property modifying process and shape modifying process property modifying techniques include heat treatments and surface treatments These treatments can improve performance and power of a material. If we talk about shape modification process, then modification of a material can be achieved by material removal, material addition and material retention. Then we have second main type of manufacturing process that is joining process joining process include welding brazing soldering uh, mechanical fastening and adhesive bonding now in joining process there are permanent non permanent and semi permanent joints 
The manufacturing process is a complex one that can be impacted by many factors like the quality and availability of raw materials and infrastructure, the cost and suitable labor, population density, government rules and regulations, the availability of associated industries, knowledge networks. The more variables there are, the greater the possibility of disruption to the smooth operations of a factory. Though effective management can play a positive role here. So let's discuss all of these one by one. The quality and availability of raw material and infrastructure. Many manufacturers depend on raw materials supplied from outside sources. Now, regular delivery schedules can be delayed or hampered due to a glitch at the site of supply source, problem with transportation or inclement weather. If supplies are not forthcoming as needed, the potential for shutdown or major slowdown in manufacturing process can result. In other situation, if there is smooth supply of raw material and well managed inventory, so this will definitely promote production as planned and scheduled. Next we have the cost and suitable labor. Now labors are the indispensable element of uh, manufacturing process even in highly automated industries. Availability and shortage of suitable labor definitely affect manufacturing process. For smooth operation and great results in production, manufacturers require suitable labor. And if we talk about the labor cost, then labor costs are likely the largest line item on your company's balance sheet. So cost and availability of suitable labor have great impact both positive and negative on manufacturing process. Then we have population density. Population density or size of population is another powerful factor. When there is denser population related to your industry, obviously there is more demand for product related to that particular industry. For example, let's take the example of toy industry in Pakistan. Now, if the percentage of population between 0 to 14 years is higher, then there will be more demand for new products from toy industry domain and vice versa. Then we have government rules and regulations. Manufacturing industries have so much potential, but with that manufacturing industries have to face so many challenges. Among the top challenges manufacturer face are regulatory concerns, tax systems, etc. So manufacturers try to maintain a safe and healthy working environment via regulations. And lastly we have knowledge networks. In today's interconnected world, knowledge networks are very vital. Knowledge networks are basically collection of individuals and teams who come together across organizational, spatial and disciplinary boundaries to invent and share a body of knowledge. The focus of such networks is usually on developing, distributing and applying knowledge. So knowledge networks are um, really uh, helpful and provide the guidance on almost every aspect. And when we have people and resources for guidance to share our issues, you feel more comfortable, more energetic, more motivated and more confident. Now these were factors that can affect manufacturing process in any way, positive or negative. Now we will discuss key success factors also known as competitive emphasis or strategic posture. Key success factors are those vital elements which can require for an organization to accomplish or exceed their desired goals. So first one is low cost production efficiency. 
Production efficiency is when company is producing product at low cost. So when production efficiency is achieved, a product is created at a low average cost. So production efficiency is very important element for achieving your organizational goals. Then we have quality manufacturing. End user or customer most of the time demand quality products and also quality products plays a very important role in the reputation of your industry. The other key success factor is high utilization of your fixed assets. If your company graph ratio is high for the utilization of fixed assets, it means your company is efficiently using its fixed assets. And definitely this will help in achieving optimization. But if the ratio for utilization of fixed assets is low, it means your company is not using its fixed assets efficiently. Example of fixed assets are property, plant and equipment. Then we have access to adequate supply of skilled labors. Definitely skilled labor is very important for smooth operation of your industry or manufacturing process and for strong, sustainable and balanced growth of your industry. There are plethora of examples that prove that skilled labors can make or fail any project or any industry. Then we have low cost location. Obviously, if you have a low cost location by keeping all the important key factors related to location, then this will lighten the financial burden of manufacturer. Then there is another very important factor that is high labor productivity. Sustained long term growth of your industry comes from increase in your workers productivity. Labor productivity is basically the output that each employed person creates per unit of his or her time. For example, there are two employees. Both are working in an automated industry and in seating department. Fine. Employee number one can make one seat in an hour and employee two can make five seats in an hour. So, it means the productivity level of labor 2 is higher than the productivity level of uh, labor 1. Then ability to manufacture or assemble products that are customized to buyer specification. Made to order or made to order is another strategy, production strategy that typically allow consumers to purchase products that are customized to their specification. In this manufacturing strategy, the production of an item starts only when a confirmed customer order is received. Next we have low production design and engineering. The role of traditional product development are uh, rapidly changing. In order to succeed, companies are quickly adopting new strategies to meet the demand of high quality and performance at low, very low cost. Leading firms have adopted an ultra low cost product development strategy uh, to become competitive in market. For example, Tata Nano. Mm, the cheapest car in the world or uh, low cost uh, Dacia Lugan then we have low cost netbook by EXO or low cost medical devices like MRI equipment by uh, Simons and many 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 other examples 
there are plethora of examples available for ultra low cost products from automated industry from computing industry from medicine industry and other consumer goods so we will close our lecture today's lecture here we will discuss factory locations and layouts in our next lecture so let's have a look on what we have studied today in today's lecture we studied all the core concepts of manufacturing process uh, we talked about the types of the manufacturing process and deep dive into material modifying process and joining process then we explored the principal factors affecting manufacturing process and finally we also studied key success factors of manufacturing process okay students if you remember i gave you assignment number 1 in our regular class for developing a feasibility report uh, for your business process now your today's task is write about the title of your business process uh, that is the title of your assignment in comment box and also share with us the strengths of your business process why you choose this business process fine so students that was it i tried my level best to explain each concept in detail and in in a very easy way but in case of any ambiguity or confusion you can ask me in the comment box below thank you so much for your time May Allah bless you take good care of yourself Allah Hafiz